the barbecue barn. Hey, the little solar power. Uh oh, I might have to screw that in. I just set it there. I kind of don't want to screw it in for the simple fact that I can plug it up. You know? But that solar power thing right there, <clears throat> I like it. Because, like I said, I can just take it in the house, plug it up to a phone charger, charge it up, my lights work. And I got a remote. So, but, it's time for the roof, y'all. It's time to put the roof on. I'm going to go ahead and... I think I need to nail these stringers down. I'm gonna nail them down. Uh, get my saws all cut this off. Oh, it's sticking past the roof line, so I'm gonna just cut them off both sides and rock and roll. As you can see, we got some metal started. It's all different sizes. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it is definitely all different sizes but it's used and it was free so we're gonna make it happen with it um galvanized that piece there is extra long longer than everything else this piece here is should be the same as that one close to the same as that one we'll see what it does you see some of the ends are bent up like i said it's free so you have some of that and like i said it's born I'm calling it a barbecue barn, so with a barbecue barn, not everything is perfect. So, again, serve the purpose of what I wanted to do. Had me a little area to cook. Um, like, whatever. My little grill there. Put my little fan up here. Keep me out of the weather. Rain, that is, because uh, it's definitely be cold. There's no, no other way to put some heat in here if I wanted to and not necessarily looking at that I, you know what i'm building here is what i want a barbecue shack i like to see the get the grill fired up see some smoke rolling off the grill and up to the roof and out yeah man yes sir yes sir barbecue barn my addition i looked on youtube bunch of bunch of different ones and i'm talking about nice ones you know and then some that are simple and i was looking for simple and effective because of what you see here everything is recycled recycled from the three beams up top the two by six beams they're over a hundred years old come from a church and then the two by fours recycled the pallets recycled I'm calling that a pallet, look, it's a wall. Pallet, recycled, the bar, which I made, which is really a pallet, I cut down and made a bar. Recycled, the upper part, which is another pallet, recycled. What I'm standing on, all recycled. I did have to go buy some screws and some nails and some stuff like that, so. But, for what it is, I am not complaining and how it's turning out. I'm not complaining. I even got a recycled fan. Um, recycled Blackstone and semi-recycled grill. Semi-recycled grill. So, yeah, man. Um, we'll uh, tackle that some more. We'll come back. We're going to try to get you another light scene, another night scene um, with the roof on it and with the, our bar our lower bar lit up. My lights came in for that. I All right, yo, got the roof on. Still need to put some more screws in it. I couldn't get as many screws in as I like. And I was short on real estate underneath me. So I'm gonna have to get somebody a little lighter than me <laughs> to get up there and finish putting screws in it. And, but I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I did get the other lights and I'm not a fan. I'll show you here in just a second. I'm not a fan of all the lights. I think I'm gonna hit Harbor Freight, see what their lights look like, and then go from there. Stick underneath the bar there. But uh, I did put me a little shelf up with an old gas can up top. Uh, and I like the, like I said, I like the roof because now the light, the light is radiant, radiating toward the floor. So pick up my pile of wood. Um, 
Like I said, I still want to build, you know how they do the Weber uh, cart? They got a Weber cart that they sell. I don't want a cart. I want an actual stationary spot for that grill, possibly in that corner. And then now that I've got the roof, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wheel over my, my electric smoker. Again, I don't have electric in here, but if I want to cook, I'll run extension cord or something like that and plug the smoker up and go for what I know. But for the most part, everything that I got, them lights, solar, the other lights I'm gonna show you, you can see a little bit of them on the ground right now. Them, solar, and uh, and I'm gonna see what Harbor Freight has as far as lights goes also. Cause if it looks just like them, eh, I want something a little brighter a little brighter to go underneath the bar itself i've got a piece of corrugated metal that i'm gonna stick maybe on that back wall and i know i'm gonna stick a piece on the bottom part of this bar here i like it but uh look at these lights i thought i was getting more than that i thought i was getting more than that and they wouldn't radiate much light underneath this bar let me let me try it and see see there they're there they're under there but you cannot you cannot see them i gotta figure out something else to do with them dudes <coughs> for the look i was trying to achieve that's not it that is not it so i can find something else to do with them I mean, possibly line this whole bottom with it, being that it, it will be a trip hazard. So if you light it up, somebody's, you know, you shouldn't have to trip. You shouldn't trip over it. So that's another possibility. Just go ahead and just walk it down through here and line it up. But again, I don't want somebody to trip over it and rip it out. And I don't know. We'll see, man. We'll see. I just know it ain't bright enough for what I'm trying to accomplish. Neat looking. Neat looking. But not bright enough. Not bright enough at all. So, but that, on the other hand, man. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Got my little gas jug up here. So I need to put something on that back wall, break it up, maybe. Um, and for too long, man, we'll... We'll fire up a grill under here. They give me a broom, switch out, sweep all this out. All this old sawdust out. I'm gonna add that other two by four there and burn it. I'll cut some pieces off from the, the protruding there. I'll go ahead and cut them off. And or torch them, I'm sorry. Torch that, torch that, add that piece, and well, you know, no telling. Do a little bit more torching on top here. It seems like it doesn't stay very well. Come on. I gotta, what we got here? I try to knock it down, but it ain't gonna go. It ain't gonna go, y'all. It's sticking up a little higher than I want it. Get a sander. I don't know. If possibly get a sander and sander. It went down. Yes, sir. What I call a barbecue barn. Um, smoker grill right in there. Man, I think we, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. I had a little power. If I had some power, I'd put a little fridge or something. I don't have any power. I don't know how. I, I know what to do to get power, but I'm not going to really go that route as of yet there's quite a bit of things that need to change in order for me to get a little power out here but you know it's a possibility it's a possibility yeah and then i got this little spot right here it's a walkthrough spot right here i don't know i don't know i need to pull this leg back off it's a little it's high, but I'm going to leave it for now. And like I said, throw a grill right here. And I'm still, determined, still trying to determine where I'm going to put that fan. 
I don't know if I want that dude right here blowing toward the bar or do I want it right there blowing toward the cook. You know what I mean? Either way, uh, my barbecue barn.